Lincoln out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child cruise ships to an Idle Wild. Car 54, where are you? The following men back into your uniforms. Schnauzer, Nicholson, Tootie, Muldoon, and Webster. You've got to go right back out on night duty. Oh, no. That's three nights in a row. My wife don't even know what I look like anymore. Every time I put my head in the door, she reports a peeping Tom. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. Until we get a couple of replacements, we'll just have to work double duty. Tootie. Yes, sir. The men are complaining. Will you stop being a social director? They're half dead. I was just trying to help. Any, any chance of replacements, Captain? Even if the department had some extra men, this is the last place they'd send them. Headquarters doesn't even know our precinct number. We're just known as Siberia. Gee, that's rough. Rough? My back is to the wall. I'll take anything that'll walk on two legs and fit into a police uniform. Only once before in my career was I as desperate as this. When was that, Captain? When I took you. <laughs> On your next trip. Hi, Gunther. Hi, Francis. Hi, Alice. Night duty again, huh? Yeah. Well, what'll it be? Anything to keep me awake. Uh, give me some black coffee and a donut. And I'll have some Hungarian goulash. Gunther. Hungarian goulash at three in the morning? Look, Francis. You have what keeps you awake, and I'll have what keeps me awake. Black coffee, a donut, and goulash. Come on. This is murder. If only we could get one cop to get transferred to our precinct. What a load it would take off the boys. Forget it. Oh, excuse me. Here you are, Francis. Thanks. You're lucky. That's the last donut. Mm -hmm. I'm warming up your goulash. Say, who's that cop? I don't know. He's from the 12th Precinct. He's been coming in here for the last week. 12th Precinct? They usually eat at the tip-top diner down the street, don't they? Yes. He always comes in alone. Excuse me. What'll it be? Coffee and a donut. I'm sorry. We're all out of donuts. Naturally. Just coffee, please. Coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, that's my donut. Come on. Here, take this donut. No, I couldn't. Oh, Francis wasn't hungry anyway. Where are you, Francis? Well, I'm... Oh, no. Gee, thank you. Do you mind if we sit here with you? You want to sit with me? Sure. It's nice to see a new face. It is? Yeah, we see enough of each other. We've been partners for 10 years. Partners for 10 years? I've never had a partner for more than a week. Gee, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, by the way, my name's Francis Muldoon. This is my partner, Gunther Tootie. We're with the 53rd. I'm Luther Snitkin. I'm with the 12th. The 12th? A great bunch of guys. I wouldn't know. I, I don't have much to do with them. The 12th, they got a great bowling team. Are you on it? Me, no. My bowling average is only about 85. 85? <laughs> wow. A guy who could bowl 85 would be captain on our team. <laughs> really? <laughs> wouldn't that be wonderful? Say that again. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Did you hear that voice, Francis? It's just what the glee club needs, a great base. I'm a tenor. Yeah, that's what they need, a tenor base. Uh, they're hard to find. Gee, are all the fellows at the uh, 53rd precinct as friendly as you two? Friendly? We're just one great big happy family. We have so much fun, we're ashamed to take our pay. Gee, gosh, do you think? Why am I dreaming? Things like that never happen to me. Like what? Like ever being transferred to a precinct like the 53rd, I'll bet you have a waiting list a mile long. Sure, 
Everybody's dying to get into the old 53rd. Well, what do you think, Francis? Maybe we could pull some strings. Gosh. Uh, get me the captain of the 12th precinct right away. You ran into this cop in the diner? Yes, sir. Officer Snitkin. He wants to transfer here? Are you sure? Positive, Captain. <laughs> he was rational? I mean, he knew what he was saying? <laughs> He's sort of shy and wants friends. He'll have friends. If he wants me to, I'll adopt him legally. <laughs> I will talk to this captain into releasing him. Hello, uh, Captain Harris. Uh, this is Captain Paul Block of the 53rd Precinct. 53rd? <laughs> oh, yes. What is it, Captain? Uh, Captain, with your permission, I'd like to ask the commissioner to approve the transfer of one of your patrolmen to the 53rd Precinct. One of my patrolmen? <laughs> Not a chance. I've got four men in the hospital, six walking around here, semi casualties. I can't spare a single one. But uh, two of my men tell me that this patrolman of yours is very anxious to transfer to us. Now, uh, you wouldn't want to stand in the way of a man's preferment. His name is Snitkin. <laughs> Say, what's going on? Somebody pulling a gag or something? Well, uh, what is it? Another precinct wants Snitkin. Snitkin? Well, uh, are you sure? Did you say Snitkin? That's right. Luther Snitkin. He says Snitkin. Captain. Quiet, I got a captain here who wants Snitkin. <laughs> Snitkin? Captain, somebody must be pulling your leg. Everybody in the department knows that he's a Jonah, a jinx who brings disaster everywhere he goes. I spent one hour with him and I got this. Look at me, I just said hello to him. <laughs> Get rid of him, let me handle this. Well, uh, okay, Captain, if that's the way you want it. It's a deal. We did it, we got rid of the jinx. <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we got sticking. <laughs> here he comes, that's Snitkin. Come on, fellas, he's here. Snitkin's here. Now remember, men. He's the first man ever to ask to be transferred here. He's giving up all hopes of a career with the police department to be amongst friends. I have a feeling the luck of the 53rd Precinct is about to change. Luther Stinson reporting for duty. I'm sorry, Captain. This is my fault, Snitkin. Welcome to the 53rd Precinct, Snitkin. Schnauzer, here are his files. Come with me, my boy. Thanks. <laughs> Snitkin. Why is that name familiar? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, he's going to take a big load off the boys. <laughs> look at this racket. He's only been on the police department 18 months, and he's already been with 32 different precincts. He just never found the right place. Wait a minute. Now I remember. Snitkin. We're doomed. <laughs> what are you talking about? Snitkin is a Jonah. Jonah? A jinx. He's bad luck. Things happen when he's around. Now, wait a minute. I just remembered. He practically annihilated the 12th precinct. In six weeks, he had six different partners, and they're all in the hospital. Leo. He walked in the door. You saw what happened to the captain? Leo, it wasn't his fault. It's never Snitkin's fault. Nothing ever happens to him. It happens to everyone else. We're doomed. Shame on you, Leo. Smart guy like you, believing in superstition. <laughs> I know you'll be happy with us, Luther. Tony! Captain? Will you sign these papers? Uh, take them inside. I'll be right in. Tony! Yes, Captain? I want you to introduce Luther to the men. Come, Luther. Good luck, Luther! <laughs> Are you all right, Captain? Kissel, what made you close that door? I don't know. I just had this feeling about closing that door. I just had a feeling. Come on, Luther. I want you to meet Sergeant McBride. Doom. <laughs> Sergeant McBride, I want you to meet Luther Snitkin. I'm placed there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Sarge. Catch up with your luck, 
are you going? Cut him loose, son. <laughs> doom. We're doomed. Leo. <laughs> Julie, this is Luther Snitkin. Hi, Luther. Oh, uh, excuse me. Ow! <laughs> What up? I don't know. The thing suddenly went dead. Kisser, will you keep your hands off the equipment? But, Captain, I... Never mind. Get back to work. Hello, hello. Luther. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I'm so embarrassed. Hello, hello. Will you stop that? You must think we're a bunch of clumsy oxes. <laughs> but, uh, you see, the men are just so nervous trying to make a good impression on you. Uh, Schnauzer! Until Luther learns the ropes, I'm teaming him up with your partner, Nicholson. Nicholson? Captain, not Nicholson. He's still young. He has his whole life. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's an order. Captain. Leo, don't make a fool of yourself. Not Nicholson. Just this morning, he was laughing and happy. What happened to Nicholson? He's as strong as a bull. Here he comes. Say, Ed. Yeah. Come down and shake hands with your new partner, Luther Snitkin. Luther Snitkin? Stay there. Come on down. Don't move. Come on, Ed. Please. Come down. We're doomed. Come on. Right, Leo. Don't worry, Leo. I'm resting comfortably. And Leo, will you thank Snitkin for the flowers? Sure, Ed. Snitkin sent them flowers. <laughs> See? I told you he was a nice fella. He sent them flowers. Why not? Murder Incorporated used to send flowers to all the funerals. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, we got ourselves a Jonah. Now stop that, Leo. You'll have everybody in a state of shock. Leo's right. Ever since the Snitkin came into the precinct, there's been nothing but accidents. Now, Webster! He's right. Now, wait a minute, Kissel. Those accidents just happened. Oh, yeah? Well, the captain keeps blaming them on me. I'm sick and tired of being a fall guy around here. <laughs> Kissel, what do you want from me? Why don't you just take your gun and shoot me? Sir, never mind. Come along, Luther. All right, men. Until Nicholson gets out of the hospital, I'm teaming Luther up with Webster. Where is he? Webster? He's in the shower. Webster! Webster! What is it? Come on out. I want you to meet your new partner, Snitkin. I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> Get him to the hospital. Another one gone. Thank heavens we've got Luther. Rodriguez! Yes, Captain. Snitkin's your new partner. Snitkin?